teams offensively, defense, is it different from what your guys have experienced, not just these two games, but even the preseason? You said what they do offensively and defensively? Yeah, you know, some of the typical Warrior things. Yeah, I, I think, that? you know, they, they do that stuff off ball. I think it's a little bit less so far this year. Um, they're playing a little different style with uh, Paul in their starting lineup. And so it's, they've been actually more traditional lately than some of their off ball action and post up to splits that they've done in the past. But I'm sure with Draymond uh, returning and some of their guys, not normal lineups coming back, they'll get to that a little bit more. Um, defensively, Draymond's obviously high level as well. So when he comes back, things tend to change there. And, you know, played against him a ton and worked with him with USA and see how important he is to their defense. So, so when he's back, he'll be a, a quarterback back there kind of commanding everything. So when you prepare, and I know there was no shoot around today, but yesterday, do you, okay, this is what they're running. Here's the video of it. And here's all the split action and all the stuff they do traditionally because they could go back to it. Do you take a guess that that's what you'll see? Yeah, I mean, like I said, once uh, he's back, things tend to change on both ends of the floor some. and. Some based on their lineup they have up there as well. So we went over a few different things, uh, some of the new looks that they're running, so to speak. And um, like I said, we anticipate for both. And when we heard he's playing, we know there's going to be some differences. So the off ball is still a part of it. But um, like I said, they're doing a lot more pick and roll than in the past, uh, especially because of Paul. What have you seen thus far in the two-man game between Fred and Alfred? And why do you think that could be a successful combo together? Just uh, obviously Fred is a quarterback who makes the right play you know, most of the time. What we didn't love in the preseason was our screening and hitting the pocket, and so we really emphasized that. And we felt like Orlando, we missed some opportunities there. And we know how good Alfred is in the pocket when he gets the ball there, and Fred's going to make the right read most of the time. So we really emphasized screening and less slipping out. Um, and I think that showed last game a ton of, obviously, a ton of action in the pocket with Alfred making the right play, scoring or passing wise. And you know, like, like I said, Fred's a good player that's going to make the right read. It's just up to our guys to screen a little better and, and roll out with pace. And they did that last game. With Alperin as the screener, do you want him always rolling the pocket, kind of switching that up in the short roll? How does he kind of even assess that, I guess? I think a lot of times with our lineups, we've had, uh, you know, four or five out spacing. So we need him to roll more than he had popped in the preseason a little bit or was rolling too slow. So we emphasize him coming up with pace, really setting screens and getting in the pocket because he is so good there. Over these. Has struggled against this team in the past. Who has? Are, are there things that you're doing now that will make this matchup maybe a little bit easier for him? Yeah, I think he's just, he can place them all over the floor. And like, like you saw last game, him in the pocket is good and has favorable matchups inside. Now, Looney's obviously a high level defender down there, one of the best post defenders as well as, as Draymond. So that's always going to be tough on certain guys as far as that. But, you know, finding him in the pocket, initiating the offense from up top and moving him around the way he has, I think you can kind of figure out ways to use him and utilize him best against different different teams and defenses. What about the around the floor? With him defensively? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's obviously with their shooters, you know, we emphasize being up this year anyway, and so we want to be more aggressive there. And, you know, I think the first game with Orlando, they had some guys that we wanted to go under, some with Suggs and uh, uh, starting out Fultz. And so we, I think we were a little too loose coming off that game. And then even last game with San Antonio with a guy like Sohan that we want to go under. We start to pick up our pressure and higher pickup points, and obviously that's going to be key tonight. So um, onus is not all, only on Alfred to be up on their high level shooters, but I, we got to be more aggressive on the ball as well. Over these first couple games, uh, there have been some moments with Jabari Smith Jr. where he's been kind of caught ball watching defensively, leading to some easy buckets. How do you fix that, or is it just as simple as saying don't get caught ball watching? Yeah, I don't think it's just been Jabari. It's a lot of guys, honestly, and it happened in the preseason. San Antonio is a team that moves, you know, they execute off your off your mistakes and so uh, multiple guys got hurt in the preseason and then last game as well so I don't think it was just a Jabari thing uh, you know, I can point out the film that we showed everybody and it's a little bit of everybody as far as that so um, you know it depends on the team and uh, Golden State is a good cutting team that obviously has great passes from their bigs but last game it was more than Jabari. So, the, but then, what, what goes into fixing that, though, as as a problem for the defense? Yeah, we want to obviously we're we're a team that we're not a denial team. We want to switch more than anything, so we want to stay underneath the wings, and that's been our persistence training camp. Was we should never get back up because we should never be on top or in a denial position. You know, we want to stay under and set everything up to the to the switches. Timmy, this is your uh, first home game. What is for you? How important is it to take advantage of those opportunities when you are playing your own home? I don't think it's any different for me, honestly. Um, and I've said that in camp. Um, you know, I like playing on the road. I want our guys to feel the same way. And so, yeah, we're here for a homestand. But 
unless we execute properly and come out and take care of what we need to. Uh, it doesn't really matter if you're home on the road. So we're here. I, I, I know it affects some guys, the younger guys, a lot of times. But um, for me, I want to get back to winning and doing what we should have done in San Antonio. Thanks, Coach. Thank you.